Welcome to Uranium Chef, a YouTube series about an RPG about a reality show set in space. We will follow the adventures of three unlikely heroes. Thunus, a fish man from the planet Nagiri who loves desserts and loves having fun even more. Hey, I'm Thunus. I specialize in dessert fusion and I'm going to be the next Uranium Chef. Zorbiborb, an octopus with as many emotions as he has tentacles. Zorbi wants to prove to the world that cephalopods like him can be the greatest chefs in the galaxy. My name's Zorbi Borb. I can make a delicious deal out of any scraps you throw at me, and that's why I'm gonna be the next Uranium chef. Oh, and I've got an awesome catchphrase. Surf's up! Sounds good? Tell your friends. And Wendy, a former NASA chef who was lost in space, gained crazy ice powers and a third arm, and has the uncanny ability for people to completely forget having ever met her. Hey, I'm Wendy. I'm a pastry chef, and I want to be the next year chef so that people will have to remember me. These three, along with a cavalcade of exciting supporting characters, shall compete in the kitchen arena, where their culinary abilities will be put to the test, while also having to counter vicious beasts, overwhelming challenges, and the random desires of a series producer who wants nothing more than to get the best ratings ever. Who will be able to surmount all of these obstacles? Who will make it to the end of the tournament? And who will become the next Uranium Chef? Previously on Uranium Chef, the preliminary round saw all of the participants competing against one another for the first time. While attempting to make the sweetest delicacy they could, the contestants battled it out, and for some, these fights were physical. While Wendy and Zorbaborb had a confrontation with the militaristic messbot, it was Thunus who found himself the victor in the first round. Now, just after completing this match, the contestants find themselves in the presence of the show's host, Holly Go Lightwave. The challenge has just concluded with Thunus winning. And so uh, the contestants now, the, a commercial break has happened. Like the lights came down, everything. It's like, all right, can't until next filming. Uh, you hear from somewhere in the background. And uh, Holly uh, appears once again. Wonderful job, wonderful job. Great, every one of you. Come, come, come over here. Holly! Hi, Thunus. Congratulations on your victory. That Thank was fantastic. You. And let me tell you, the fans out on the Interverse, they are <gasps> loving it. Yes, the fans are so nice. They gave me so much stuff. It's pretty incredible how they can teleport that to you right away, isn't it? Right? The rest of you should learn. Holly is amazing. Like, just exudes just excitement and charisma every time in in her presence i just never wanted to end i i like holly i watch the show every once in a while it's just i had to see for myself what a hologram was like never saw one on earth except for the ones that you you twist and tilt and that was a really bad hologram but this one's cooler ha! I've got all of her posters, and I've watched everything that she's ever done. If she doesn't sign my autograph book, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> chefs, if you're going to make a name for yourself, you'll have to go big or go home. We're asking each chef in the next challenge to create a full five course meal. Oh, Luckily, you will have some help from each other. You will be cooking the next challenge in teams. Thunus, for winning the last round, you get to pick your partners. Who do you choose from amongst all of the contestants to join you in this battle? What are my options? Can you tell, tell me who my options are? You can't remember the people that we were bunking with? Well, I definitely can't remember I you. I definitely can't remember <laughs> one of them. <laughs> So just out of politeness sake, if you could tell me their names. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, it's Wendy. It says so, wait, where'd it go? Did you guys see my name tag? I need that badge so I can get back into the studio. For real, though. Did you guys see my name tag? Did I drop it? <laughs> uh, obviously we have Zorby Borb. Wendy. Scoopa. Wendy. 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 <laughs> Wendy. Macron. Wendy. Messbot. When and Coco Ramsey. Ooh. Um, I don't read human. It's Wendy. 
Who? Come on, man. It's Wendy. Who? It's Scuba. Oh! Oh! I dig her. She's got that like special power where she can turn invisible and then not invisible like that. That's amazing. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm always a little intimidated when anybody has more than two arms, you know? Like, I'm usually the guy with all the limbs, but that third arm's pretty cool, I guess. I just have to change my name to Scuba now. And <laughs> how many uh, how many partners can I have? Two. I can have two additional partners. Ooh. Um, interesting. You should definitely take Messbot. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Who to pick? Who to pick? Some tentacles and a fishbowl move into view. Hmm. Okay, so that um that Macron guy? Yep. He had some good wine, so I'm gonna pick him. Alright, Macron. Macaroni? Something like that. Yeah. Yep. Um <laughs> and then <laughs> the dude that had a lot of arms. Um, he could chop stuff kind of fast. Um, shoot, I can't really remember any of his other features. Had a fish for a head. No, had a fish for his whole body. Had something on his head. I think I sang zippity doo da to him. Sorby bor 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 Yeah! <laughs> right. Let's go. We're gonna be a great team. All right. That I don't. I, I don't mean to um, um, come off as rude, but you are wearing your apron backwards. I just thought I'd let you know. Is it because there's sh schmutz on the other side? You wanted to hide it from the cameras. I'm sorry. Schmutz is a very offensive word in my language. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, you already picked me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our teams. It'll be Thunus, Macron, and Zorbiborb against Coco, Messbot, and... Shandy? It's Scuba. Let's just scuba! scuba! From now on, I'm going forward. It's of now course. Just scuba. Uh, and then, like, uh, on cue, as, like, right as this happens, right? Lights from uh, the back flow in right to the center Ooh. of the stage. A mist pours up, and a hologram emerges of the chairwoman herself. What's that sound? So, as I was saying, lights, mist, a hologram appears in the center of the kitchen arena, and it is the chairwoman herself. She explains to you, you will compete with the other teams, but not with your teammates. If your team makes the best dishes, all of your rankings will improve. If your team comes in last, your score will suffer. Rest well, and plan for the ordeal ahead. And then just as quickly as she came in, vanishes. Lights come back up. Holly pops up. Wow, we just heard from the chairwoman herself. That is going to be great for the ratings. Uh, I see you have a tentacle raised in the air. I don't know what that means in your culture. Uh, question, Holly. Yes. Uh, the chairwoman said if you come in last, second place is last, correct? Holly just kind of nonchalantly shrugs off your comment and disappears. That was rude of Holly. What do you think she meant by that? I don't know. The shuttle bus returns to take you back to the apartments where you can rest for the day because you will resume filming tomorrow for the final challenge of this episode. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the judges have not eaten all of the uh, rock candy stuff, and I uh, would like to snag a little bit and just uh, have it as a little snack on the way back to the apartment. All right, go for it. Yep. Yeah. No, you don't need to roll for it. You can just do it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to talk to Macron and see if he has any more of that delicious wine. Uh, you look to Macron, and he's passed out on the shuttle bus okay. already. How is Miss Butt, by the way? Uh, he had to be carried out by a couple of people and placed into the back of the truck. And you can see that there are these tiny little robots kind of running all over his body, kind of like making sparks and things oh. appear. Clearly, they are repairing him. Clearly. Yeah. When Mesbot ended up being on my team, I was really concerned because in the last match, I sort of hit him with Macron. Macron's not here, is he? I hit him with Macron's bottle of wine. And, um,. It really messed him up, so I'm really worried that he's going to remember. 
no one really remembers me, so I guess I guess I'll be fine. All right, well I, I'm ready to go. How about you, Scuba? I guess I'm fine to go. Cool. All right. So I'll return back to the suites. You now have an evening to yourselves. You know who your teammates are. You can perhaps plan with them. It's probably a good idea. Uh, some things to know. Um, because the first challenge was a sweet challenge, you know that the ingredients for the upcoming challenge will not be sweet. Oh. Okay? So, so the special ingredient can be anything other than that. And you know that there will be two special ingredients. Okay. Uh, you don't know what they'll be. But you know there will be two special ingredients. You will need to use both. So, question: Does that mean that we cannot combine the special ingredient with sweet? If we, you could still add sweet aspects. Okay. But the special ingredients themselves will not be sweet. Got it. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, so y'all, you all return. Uh, Macron kind of wanders into his closet and shuts the door behind himself and has kind of shut himself away. Messbot has been carried into the room and put onto his tiny bed and is continuing to be repaired. Uh, Coco is quite lively and very happy to still be around and is bubbly and wandering around, just very excited, like, oh, we made it on to the next round and I got picked on a team. I'm so excited. So that's uh, what's happening right now. What would y'all like to do? Hmm. Knowing that two of your partners are. <laughs> can I talk to Coco since she's still uh, available to talk to? Of course you can. I like Coco a lot. She's always so happy, and she sort of remembers who I am. Sort of. Coco, I'm so happy we're on a team. I'm so excited. It's uh, going to be the best. Do you know what we're going to do tomorrow? I have no clue. We need to plan something. I already knocked my sweet stuff right out of the park, but yeah. now it's it's we're moving into uncharted territory. Do, I don't do know. you know any other things besides sweets? Do you know any savories? Do you I know? mean, you know, I, I dabble. I could certainly ma I could manage. It, uh, I, like... I do a lot of pastry stuff too, and sometimes I do stuff with sour, like flavors, like sweet and sour. All right, all right. Yeah. Is there anything that you're you could specialize in? Well, let's see. Let me let me think for a moment. Um, because I love making like a lemon tart, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm good with sour. Mm -hmm. I'm good with spicy. I can do spicy. That sounds good. You know, uh, I can I can manage with savory, but you know that's about it. You know, I'm not that great at much else. I'm hoping this bot's okay. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, I, I threw that bottle at him real hard. Yeah, you know, I got it in the moment. It made sense. That does kind of suck. He's on our team though. Yeah. Now that he's kind of maybe he broken. won't remember. Hopefully not. <laughs> I hear robots have real good memories though. Yeah. Well, I seem to have a very forgettable face. That's true. <laughs> By the way, I hate to ask this again. What's your name? Scuba. Scuba. <laughs> of course it's Scuba. I knew that. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to um, make a pot of coffee. Okay. And bring it to Macron. Okay. All right. Yeah. So um, you going to try and make any kind of fancy coffee? Like, I mean, he's real drunk. No, um, I would like to make a pot of coffee. Okay. Just black. Just a plain old pot of coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I pour coffee on Macron's crotch. <laughs> Why? Uh, to wake him up, obviously. All right, so you brew a, a, a fresh pot of coffee, uh -huh. and you pour boiling hot coffee. It's not boiling. I mean, how, you brewed it. I brewed it, but I, okay. I let it cool. You let it cool. All right. It's, it's, it's like a good 170 degrees. Okay, sure. <laughs> so you pour 170 degree... Uh, <laughs> liquid onto the crotch of your teammate. Uh-huh. Macron <laughs> screams yes. the top of his lungs, jolting upwards, and immediately thrusts his fist in your face. Okay. Roll a uh, quick <laughs> to avoid being punched directly in the face. Roll a quick. You got it. Okay. Um... I, I love I love if Rick ends up having to be unconscious now because um, of this. I've got a one and a two, so those are negatives, right? Yep. Yes. Oh crap. Okay, yep. so that's negative two, but then I've got also a three and a four is one. So you basically are at zero. And then I got plus two for my quick. Yeah, plus two for your quick. <laughs> All right, so uh, you lose that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what? Macron what? What is this? screaming. Punches you right in the middle of your fishbowl, uh -huh. which obviously is a fishbowl. Yeah. Um, but he's a vampire, so he's actually very strong. Uh -huh. um, so he cracks your fishbowl cool. real hard. Okay. Sh goes right through, just sh like a nice little crack is forming all the okay. way across that. What are you doing? Oh my god! Someone help! Oh my god, she's on fire! Why? Why? 
Okay. And he goes running out of the uh, closet towards the bathroom. I I, 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 can. I, I spin my, my fishbowl around so that okay. the crack is now in behind my head. Ah, okay. So I can see. All right. And I approach Macron. Who is now in the bathroom yep. under the shower head. Cold water just Imagine pouring down crying. upon him. And I say, listen up, you, you silly ba- vampire man. It's time to get sober. We got to win this thing. You hear me? Capiche? That- you burned my crotch! But you're awake and you're sober. I am not working with you. We'll see about that. Get this man out of here! Out of here! He'll respect me for this later. What's that all about? Who throws coffee at someone's crotch? Why? Is there like an alien reason I don't understand? We don't We do not do that on Earth. Well, you know, back in Druglia, I've seen it a million times. These guys, they get drunk, they think they're helping, they're not helping, and somebody told me that the quickest way to sober somebody up is with some hot coffee. I figured, you know, give it a try. I've never tried it before. Did I do it wrong? Honestly, it seemed kind of rude. Did Macron's crotch do something against Zorbaborb? There's some sort of backstory there that I just don't get, and I don't know. It seemed like a, like a waste of coffee. Rick had asked us, why did he write <laughs> Boss of Messbot? <laughs> I'm guessing he wants to add another thing saying Boss of Macron. Yeah, uh, a good one. Maybe. That. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. You can't, you can't try to. So you have burned Macron. Put a um, rhymer. It's, it wasn't that hot. It's, it's junk. It wasn't even boiling. It's junk. It's hot. It's fine. It'll be fine. Thunus, is there anything that you would like to do? Um. Beer pong. With the whole apartment. Like everyone in the apartment? Or you just want to turn the entire apartment into a beer pong table? Everyone in the apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to get everyone together? I yell out, scream, beer pong! Yes! Beer pong is happening. Okay. And see who filters. All right, who who wants to join the beer pong? I'm definitely playing beer pong. Okay. Okay. Messbot is still a mess. Okay. Macron is still in the bathroom. So it's just me and Coco. He's down for a drink. Do you want to try and convince my, Macron to come he's out? My, yeah, he's my roommate. Absolutely. So I'm, what are you gonna what are you gonna say? How are you gonna try and convince Macron to come out after he has been uh, uh, horribly maimed in this way? Um, Macron, I'll let you have some hair of the dog. You can do wine pong if you want to. Silence. You, I'll look, I'll you, hear this, you hear the sound <laughs> of a door unlocked. <laughs> Slowly opens the door. <laughs> Will he be there? Uh, yeah, but he's on our <laughs> side. <laughs> I've got little umbrellas you can put in your wine. <laughs> can I have more than one umbrella? I'll even put it in your hair. All right, now I want you to roll. <laughs> Oh, please don't I want stab you, him. I want you to roll oh, a clever. Oh, please don't I want, stab I want you to, him. No, no, I want you to roll a clever. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, well. Oh, my God. Oh, that blanks. would have been a so Yahtzee. What's your, what's your clever roll? Uh, plus three. Wow, that was Seven. pretty clever. Yeah. Macron emerges <laughs> from the bathroom. And as he comes out, he seems quite, you know, kind of turned inward. Mm-hmm. All right. He looks at you. Mm-hmm. And... As he looks at you, I need you to uh, roll an aggressive. Aggressive, you got yeah. it. Come on, aggressive. B, aggressive. B, E, aggressive. aggressive. Eh. Okay, uh, oh god, two negatives again. But I did roll. Two. Okay, so I got four, two, so that's actually going to be two there. Plus, oh, I have zero aggressive. I only have two. So you got a two? Crap, dude. Okay, <clears throat> so you feel, uh, you, you hear. Mm-hmm. A voice speaking to you. Okay. It's Macron's voice, mm-hmm. but he's not moving his lips. Ooh, fancy Ooh. trick. Inside your head, you hear him, uh-huh. and he's only speaking to you. Ooh, hello. So none of y'all can hear this, but what he says to you absolutely terrifies you. Ooh. He threatens you in a way that only you could understand at the deepest part of your core as being the most horrific thing that could ever be done to you by Macron. Yeah. Okay? And then goes away that was terrifying (laughs) you will have to take a condition of being terrified okay 
Suddenly, the crowd seems fine. Great. It's almost as if uh, he imparted the pain that you put onto him back onto you. Only fair. I get it. Only fair. Whoa. Man. That... I can't even tell you what... I don't even want to think about what that guy did. Yeah. Let's just not talk about that. Yeah. Next. Just next. I, I could see that they were they were staring at each other a lot. They they had a connection. They had a moment. And honestly, I just hope me and Macaroni can get there someday. Where's my wine and umbrellas? <laughs> all right, buddy, let's do it. Who's all up for beer pong? Are you up for beer pong? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do Scuba's a couple up rounds. for it. it, it Coco, can she hold? She's kind of tiny. Oh, I can hold. <laughs> All right, so I'm, we've I'm got- I'm tiny and on my planet, our metabolisms are fast. So I'm good. All right, let's do it. So we've got everyone except for Messbot? Except for Messbot. <laughs> Messbot is still- Yes. <laughs> still out. All right, so in that case, what are the teams then? Is it gonna be just Jazz and Coco versus the three of us? That seems unfair. Macron does not, still doesn't want to work directly with Zorbiborg. Okay, then- Macron, I'll offer him to. Why, don't, why doesn't he team up with Coco since she seems to be all alone? And then, um. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> that actually confused me for a second. I actually got a little confused. I was like, wait. It took me a second. And then we'll have split teams. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the teams are Macron. I was going to offer to chill your beer, but you could drink some lukewarm one instead. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> can, 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 can I have you a, guys take this to a level that I've never? Can, can I just have a before. quick uh, sidebar with uh, with Sunnis? On the one tentacle, I'm like, it's beer pong. I'm always up for some pong. But on the other tentacle, I'm thinking this Macron guy. The last thing he needs is another drink. But you know, surfs up. Sh uh, sure. You, of course. Listen, Sunnis. Um, it may seem like my methods are unconventional, but we need Macron to be sober. So make sure you give him grape juice instead of wine, okay? Or at least it, maybe one glass of one and one of the other. We gotta keep this guy sober. Can I just go over here and okay, listen what Okay, but it's fermented grape it. juice, right? Roll a, roll a sneak. Listen, we, he passed out on stage last time. Yeah, but he, every, the audience loved him. All right, all right. You know what, you, you, you won last time. What? I'm let you take the lead on this, all right? But I'm just telling you, we gotta keep this guy sober. Oh, he's, so he's a wild card. Your helmet's cracked. It's in the back, it's fine. All right. I got, I got some tape, it's gonna be- So, as if for the first time ever, you notice Wendy. Holy cr- Listen, Hi. Listening to Hi. your little conversation. Um. Hi. Hi. When are we playing beer pong? Are you lost? Right now! <laughs> right now? Right now! Yes! Let's do it! I wasn't prepared for beer pong. <laughs> I just was, I didn't- there aren't rules for beer pong. Um. <laughs> We'll figure it out. So, uh, so now we're gonna have a little mini game of beer pong. We're gonna say uh, it's two rounds, so everybody gets two shots. Okay. Yes. Um, so the teams are Macron, uh, Coco, and Scuba against Thunus and Zorbi Bor 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 Boran. Thank you. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and we'll start. Does um, Macron have his own just wine cups that are like little umbrellas? Wine shots. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. He's got his own little table of them, but it mirrors yours. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's, it, it still works the same way. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to draw some little circles here. Y'all can't see this, <laughs> but this is just, I'm making a little beer pong, beer yeah. pong table. Cause y'all are going to, <laughs> you're going to pick your shots. You're going to aim for them. And if you make them, then that get, do, gets do rid of that cup, go? right? No, no, you don't have to actually do that. So, uh, we will st <laughs> Come on. It's all right, we got plenty of that. Okay. Uh, we'll just have to remember that that's on the floor over there. Uh, so, uh, let's start with uh, a demonstration. So, Macron will go first. Okay. So, he is going to roll his... Uh, he's going to be very... Um, quick in his throw, all right? He wants to just throw it right in there. That's his, his goal, okay? Go for that. Come on, let's go. That's not great. So, uh, Macron kind of just launches his uh, the, the ping pong ball as fast as he can, 
right kind of dead center and misses and it sort of hits the rim, bounces out, and it's out. So he does not score on that go. All right. Uh, Who wants I'll, to go? I'll go, and I'll do a flashy shot. You're going to be flashy, huh? That's so right. describe your flashy shot okay, to us. Okay, so I'm going to uh, sort of do a spin and in midair do a little... Okay, a little flourish. Little, yeah. Okay, all right. And, I'll, I'll aim, and what are you aiming for? I'll aim for dead center since that's still... Dead center, all right. Yep. So in here, let me... Uh, <laughs> I'll just let you guys know. I'm trying to figure Center out is Ashes, easiest, like... And then as you move out, harder. Why? He, like, harder. I understand he just wants to party. Yeah. But is there anything that's happening afterward? Like, what's your long game on this, He Ash? just likes to have fun. He's just a fun guy. Like, what? Why? It's beer pong. Why wouldn't you... It's beer pong. Yeah. Might as well call him Funnus. <laughs> it all worked out for me last time, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> it did, which is the weird part. Okay. Go go ahead. Roll your uh, uh, flashy. Flashy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so two sixes, a five, and a four. You flash all over the place. What's your flashy, by the way? Plus I have plus a plus two. two to flashy. Damn, Ash is so flashy. All right, so Thunus does a spin move. All right, and it's glorious, right? His fins are moving through the air. You can imagine this slow-mo. It's almost like time stands still, like he's cutting water through the air. And it's a, you can see, but it's almost as if the world around him turns to a pinkish glow. It's glorious. And you can even hear like the anime music slowly floating in from the background. And then... <laughs> perfect. Nothing but center, all right? <laughs> Not even a drip. Not even a drip gets out. It's perfect, all right? And so Thunna scores the first point. Dead center. Scuba. Okay. Pick what, a shot. Wait, what is a... I just pick one, right? Pick like, one, yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to do a you careful get, shot. You're going to do a careful shot? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do carefully get... Uh, I want to try with some of that wine. You're going to try with some of the wine, okay. Is that okay, Macron? I'll allow it. I mean, I, I trust your sense of judgment. As long as I get to drink it. <laughs> I just want to sip. We can chat. Okay. All right, I'm at six. All right, yeah. Uh, so you... So I'm like... Scuba, it's it's almost like... I, I, I don't want to hit the umbrella and ruin it. Okay. Like, I don't want to, like... I don't want to hit it and, like, have it spill. So I'm, I'm just careful, like... Wait, are the umbrellas on the glasses yes. right yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. He's sweet. That was the condition Matt. to get him out of the thing, remember? That makes the shot so much harder. That's what delineates the wine. <laughs> That's why I'm so careful. It's a All wine right. shot. I'm aiming for uh, the one, the back far left. Okay. Yeah. And I went... <clears throat> so, the ball flies through the air, spinning. And you can see that it's even got some kind of, like, weird centrifugal force to it. And it lands... Right on the edge, almost hitting the umbrella, and then spins around the rim. Damn. And then into the cup, completely bypassing the umbrella, and you score. Well done. Yeah, Wendy. Why? Why would I say my own name? Macron turns to you and says, I would like more than a sip. <laughs> okay, let me try it first real fast. It's very sweet. Thank you! And it's just very sweet. the whole thing very quickly. Is this... Wait. Are you sure this is wine? It tastes like juice. You know, I hadn't really thought about it until you mentioned it, but... Definitely wine! Zorby Bor 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 Baran. All right. Well, let's see. I, I really liked Thunnis' flashy shot. Mm -hmm. I think I'm also going to flash it up a little bit, all right? Uh, I think that was fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a flashy shot. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go under the leg, whoo, off the wall. Wait, which leg? Ooh, More right than leg. one? Right. Okay, I'm going to weave between four of my legs, like a little bit. like Four <laughs> of your tentacles. Yep. Okay, all right. That Toss the ball. It's gonna bounce off the wall, and I'm going for this cup right there. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Give me a break. I've done this a million times before. I've got this. Go on flash. Had a lot of I good, good rolls so this. far. I can't wait to see this. Dude, what is wrong with my <laughs> dice? <laughs>
<laughs> you got a uh, negative, a negative, a negative. I got negative, a negative a four. Negative. Plus three is a ne only a negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. <laughs> so, so, you turned to Thunnus with the confidence of a warrior. Watch right? this. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you think that was cool. Wait until you see this. You, you, you grab the ping pong ball and you're kind of like, you know, doing a little finesse, like bouncing up, kind of almost like you're trying to juggle a single ping pong ball, which is already a little bit odd. <clears throat> uh -huh. um, and then you go to do the weaving between your legs and you end up accidentally shoving it up into your <laughs> fishbowl and smacking yourself right in one of your eyes, uh, falling forward, and then the ball slowly just rolls out to the ground around you. <laughs> you do not get it into one of the cups. So, <laughs> is, is that... Oh, that's it. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> that was the trick. <laughs> I think... Do you need a little help? It looks like you kind of nodded yourself. Excuse me, who are you? <laughs> I'm Scuba. How'd you get in my room? I'll just tug on this one. You're really kind of tangled up there, buddy. Honestly, <laughs> uh. uh. Zorbaborb, I could tell what he was going for. You know, I if I had that many limbs, I probably would try to do what he did as well. It's just... He hit himself in the face, so he probably, I don't know, maybe he's got too many limbs. Dude has like way too many tentacles. I knew eventually he was going to tie himself into a knot. I just don't understand how he doesn't do it all the time. All right, I've done this before, beer pong, I'm not a rookie. Like I'm, I'm there, I'm weaving, I'm, you know, I've got the ping pong ball in my hand. Everything's looking good. And then I biff it at the last minute. I don't know, maybe it was that Macron guy still stuck in my head. I don't know, but maybe I just have too many tentacles. So Coco uh, comes forward and uh, she also goes for a careful mm -hmm. shot. You know, she, uh, as you say, she's very small. Um, so she kind of can like barely see like up over the table. So she's kind of like taking a look. So she's aiming for the one right in the front. Oh, not bad. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the bad rolls I'll live in those die, obviously. Do you want to you you swap out? We got plenty. Um, so, <laughs> so Coco, uh, very carefully on her tiptoes, kind of does a little thing, um, which you may not know. She has a little tail, and so she kind of like springs herself up and launches it straight into the air, and the ping pong ball floats with wonderful uh, grace. Again, straight down, right into the cup, scores perfectly. And now it comes back around to Macron. And he succeeds. So he kind of winds up, throws it, and he hits this one here. Dang. Falling down. Question. Into the cup perfectly. Why didn't Macron go right after Coco, who is on his team? I thought that we trade back and forth between teams. Because it's three versus two. Yep. And it goes rounds. Would have gone to Messbot, but... Messbot, you know. But we don't notice because we forgot about Jazz. Or yeah. Scuba. <laughs> <laughs> so... No, can I clarify? It's not wine, is it? Or is it grape it's juice? It's not wine. It's not wine. Okay. You Because you, you traded yeah. it out for grape juice. Mm -hmm. You just lucked out. You guys saw my detect. trick, though, right? I was yeah, trying. You tried. You tried. <laughs> he just failed. No, that was good. I like that. Uh, all right, so... Thunus, it's your last shot. Uh, okay. Can you bring it home? I'm gonna go for for Team Fish Boys. I'm gonna go for a clever shot. Um, okay, how are you, how clever is it? Let's see here. Ooh. Yeah. Three negatives. And a one. One. Uh, and I have a plus three to clever, so that just evens out. No. Oh, you got it. Oh, I got a one, right? Mm -hmm. Total is a positive one. Yeah. All right. So you throw it, and it definitely hits the back of the cup, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you wanted. Okay. But once it, it when it hits it, uh, it bounces way too far. Okay. You know, so it, it clears way beyond this cup. Okay. But luckily, lands I in that cup. Hit a different right cup. in front of it. <gasps> Good job. So Thunus does indeed. <clears throat> Score for Team Fish Boys. <laughs> Knew it. Meant to do it. Good job, Dennis. <laughs> I saved from the floor. 
<laughs> Scuba. Uh, I'm gonna do that careful shot. Okay. Okay. Where are you aiming? Uh, I guess I'll take one of these bad boys here. Okay, the three in yeah. a row. Gotcha. All right, let's see. I can do a careful shot. Ooh, dang, son! Two, four, six. Once again, perfect form. Mm -hmm. As if you know, as if you've trained for this for decades. Uh, the, the ping pong ball goes clear into the sky and comes straight back down perfectly right into the center and you score yet again. Now, Zorbi Bor 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 Boran. Now, here's the thing. Yep. We can't win at this point, can we? we? Cannot win at this point. Unless I try something so crazy, it just might work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm intrigued. I'm going for a flashy shot. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take this single ball. Please. I'm please. going to toss it up. It's going to go soaring down, hit the tip of a cup, split in two. One piece is going to fall into this cup, the other into the cup right next to it. It's the only way that I could possibly save us, Thunnis. Okay. If Here I we can, go. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what he's about to do if I could ask for a sidebar real quick. Yeah, what's up? I think that might just be a little bit too blunt for the ping pong ball to split in half. Although, I whacked my head real good on the ceiling fan that's right above us. That thing is sharp as heck. If you I take to... Thunnis's <laughs> advice and consideration. I change my flashy shot. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to throw <laughs> this ball into the air. The ceiling fan is going to chop it. Both pieces are going to fall into the cups below. Flashy shot. Here we go. How could I possibly fail? I've got four new dice. I know I really messed up that last round when I tangled my tentacles up, but now I've got the chance to be a hero. Two points, one ball. I can do this. Surf's up, baby. I understood what Zorby was going for with trying to throw the ping pong ball and have it split between the two cups. But thing is, my roommate Nemo from back in college, he really tried the same thing and it didn't work out for him. Instead of splitting, it just stuck and then he had to drink all nine cups and it was just a bad night all around. We ended up throwing up a whole lot, actually. Anyway, I suggested the fan thing. Uh, those two are so ridiculous. Zorba, Borb, and Thunnis, whenever they come up with a weird thing, of course it's not going to happen. I mean, who's going to try to split a ping pong ball? It's just ridiculous. Try to bounce it off a fan so it lands perfectly in two cups? Yeah, right. That's a two, a two, so you're at three. Told you. You, you calculatedly throw this ping pong ball at the ceiling fan. Yeah. All right. Sadly, you don't time it perfectly, right? Because the blades spin from the interior and on the outside, you oh, know, if you hit the back hit side of it, it's just going to launch forward, right? So. <laughs> it's not a critical well, fail, You know, I hadn't thought about that, but that's a really good idea. Um, what? No, uh, not, no, it wasn't that not, bad. It's not going to happen. Uh, so, uh, so what happens is instead of it splitting in half, it just kind of bounces off the edge of the ceiling fan, hits the wall, kind of where you thought it was going to hit that one time before, and then bounces back and lands in this cup right here. I only got one. So you did get one. It did not split into two. I'm not going to lie. I really wanted you to succeed on that one. That was, that was a great idea. Wait, is it? Thunnis, I oh, knew I should have gone with my original plan. Uh, so I wanted to cut a ping pong ball in half with a cup. <laughs> What's wrong, party god? I thought you liked doing that kind of stuff. Ah! Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh... Coco has the final shot. She once again springs back on her tail. Um, and as she goes to spring back to throw it, she just kind of falls back and drops the ball on the ground. Uh, it rolling away and her not scoring uh, oh. on that last shot. So, uh, Coco, <laughs> you fell down there. Yes, I did. Thank you for pointing that out, Thunis. I wasn't embarrassed enough already, but that's great. It's great that you really mm -hmm. made sure to tell everyone about that. Thought you could hold your liquor. Uh, the final scores of the beer pong. 4-3. Team uh, Coco, Scuba, and Macron win. Mm -hmm. All right? High fives all around. Yes, I got two of them. <laughs> Up top. One. Yeah, both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wouldn't that be a high 10? Well, you have three high, hands. High I 15. have three hands. Yeah. Okay. 
High 15. So I go like this, no. and there's two, two of them. Right oh, there. so you I, I, didn't, I didn't realize together. you were using all three of your hands. Yeah, always. No, no. I, She's I only using the one hand, but she was represented you can. two. Yeah, I hands. show my Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that would be a high 10, right? Yes. Yes, thank you. But they have fives. My, my, my original stance. If I said high 10, they'd be confused. We're all confused right now. I'm. I, <laughs> the net benefit, the net effect of this beer pong game is now that all three uh, contestants who were on the winning side will gain uh, a buff essentially going to the next one. You know, basically like the spoils of victory. So they've all got kind of like this energized feeling. Cool. Now, uh, we'll talk about what that means when you actually get into the next challenge. I'm just but, uh, yeah, well, so at least Macaron was on their team, so we'll bring some of that to ours. Uh, okay, so with that, I think that that is going to be at the point where um, all of the stuff that's happening at the suites are over. Y'all all go to your rooms. You get a good night's rest. And when we return, y'all will wake up in the morning and go to the kitchen arena. All right. Hey, everybody. Ash here. I hope you guys liked that episode of Uranium Chef. If you did, consider checking out our Patreon down in the link below. It goes towards supporting this project as well as other projects that we do here on this channel. With that, catch you guys in the next episode.